hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to learn how to solve problems involving simultaneous equations using the Casio FS another one ES plus second edition scientific calculator 20 seconds fast and easily the multiple choice questions so ensure you stay with me till the very end of this video as usual you guys are going to learn a lot all right so having known that let's get a calculator now and go straight into the details Okay, so this is the Casio FS standard one ES plus upon edition scientific calculator. If you observe here, you will notice that we have three questions to practice with. After solving these three questions with you in this video, you will be in a better position to be able to tackle any problem you come across involving simultaneous equations using this Casio calculator. Okay, so this is the calculator. Once more, the very first thing we have to do will be to reset it to put it in the default mode so to reset the press shift but to now for the instructions once we set or press three press record and press record again so now it's in default mode the next thing we are going to do will be to put it in equation mode to do that you press this mode button okay so equation is option five you press five for it now we want to solve maintenance equation involving two variables for question one all right so we are going to go for this option one okay that's for continuous equations involving two variables all right so we press one it should bring us this very please so we have two equations here all right so this a b and c represent values to impute so let's begin with the first equation in this equation one. So in this first equation in question one, all right, we have four x plus three y equals four. So what's the coefficient of four x? Coefficient of four x here is four. Coefficient is the value behind an unknown or a variable. Okay, so we are going to impute four here. First equal to coefficient of three y is what three. All right okay then put the constant as c constant is four remember solving question one so let's impute the values for the second equation in question one so what's the coefficient of two x coefficient of two x here in equation two is two all right coefficient of minus five y is minus five okay always recognize the sign convention then press report for it to enter the constant is what 15 and that's it for this question one okay so let's press report and get the x and y values respectively press report so our x is 5 over 2 and our y is negative 2 it's as simple as this guys so let's go ahead and solve question two it involves two variables as well all right so let's remove this let's press is button to wipe out every value we have imputed here all right so it's now fresh now for this question two we have two equations for the equation one in this question two we have x over two plus y over three equals two whole number five over six two this place this is misfraction so what's the coefficient of x over two Coefficient of s over 2 is 1 over 2, guys. You press 1, divide 2. So that's it, guys. Press support 3 to enter. Coefficient of y over 3 is 1 divided by 3. All right. Very, very simple, guys. Okay. Then we have the missed fraction. Just convert it to an improper fraction. And to do this, you just say 6 times 2 is 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. So we have 17 over 6 here. That's 17 divided by 6. Press equal to enter. So let's go to the second equation. Coefficient of x here is what 1. Very, very interesting, guys. Coefficient of minus y over 2 is minus 1. Okay. Divide by 2. So that's it, guys. And the constant is what one very very simple 
we are good to go. Let's press the code to now to get the value x and y respectively. So we have x to be three and y to be four. It's as simple as this, guys. So let's solve this last question that involves three variables, and after this, we call it a class. Now, guys, before we solve this question, three, if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for more of these videos. Also, like, share, and comment on this video. I really appreciate it, guys, and it helps the YouTube algorithm to promote more of my videos out there to people. Alright, thanks, guys, for doing that. Support me on this channel. Coming down now, let's go ahead and solve question three quickly. Let's remove this. Why part of everything here? Now, guys, for this question three, it involves three variables. So we don't make use of this option that is showing us two variables. Okay, so we need to go back to equation. So we press shift mode. Sorry, sorry guys. You are going to just press mode. Then press equation for five. Then this time I want you are going to press two. Two is for Internet equations involving three variables press to all right as you can see we have two equations here so let's begin with equation one in this question three so quotient of four x here is what four all right quotient of minus two y is minus two okay quotient of three z is three all right and the constant is what one okay Coefficient of x here is what one for equation two. Press one. Coefficient of three y is what three. Coefficient of minus four z is what minus four. Okay, and the constant is negative seven. And the last equation we have the coefficient of three x here is what three. Coefficient of y is what one. Quotient of 2x is what 2, and the constant is what 5. It's as simple as this, guys. So that's it. Let's now press equal to, to begin to get our x, y, and z values respectively. So our x is negative 1, our y is 2, and z is 3. That's it, guys. This is basically how you can solve problems involving simultaneous equations that have x, y, and z variables respectively hope you learned something interesting from this video let's go to the video here guys if you are new to this channel once more sure you hit the subscribe button not to subscribe to this channel more of these videos also like share comment on this video tell me how you feel what i learned from this video if you seem to have any specific questions or have regarding the things i've talked about in this video feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and i will sure to give you a response don't forget to receive the calculator once you are done just press shift but the nine-fold instruction, press three, press the code and press the code again. So it's out of equation mode now. Alright, thanks for watching. Click on the screen and blue and I'll see you in my next video.